Alabama woman who accused failed GOP Senate candidate Roy Moore of sexual assault came home from work earlier this week to find out that her house had burned down, and the blaze is now being investigated as possible arson, officials said. Tina Johnson, who claims Moore groped her rear at his office over two decades ago, was at work when her Gadsden home went up in flames on Tuesday morning, cops said. Firefighters rushed to the rural one-level house after a utility worker called 911 shortly after 8 a.m. But by the time they were able to quench the flames, Johnson's family home had all but collapsed. I am devastated, just devastated, Johnson told Al.com on Friday morning. We have just the clothes on our backs. No one was injured and both Johnson and her husband were at work when the fire broke out. Natalie Barton, a spokeswoman for the Etowah County Sheriff's Office, told the Daily News that the local arson task force is investigating the blaze. She also said authorities are speaking to a person of interest, but noted that no charges or warrants had been filed as of Friday evening. Barton stressed that police at this point has no reason to believe that the fire was in any way related to Roy Moore allegations made against him. Dot Johnson is one of at least nine women who have accused Moore, 70, of sexually harassing or assaulting them, in some cases when they were as young as 14. Dot Moore lost Alabama's special Senate election last month to Doug Jones who became the first Democrat to hold a Senate seat in the deeply red state in nearly three decades. Dot Johnson, who was 28 when she claimed Moore groped her, is staying at a motel while her family struggles to cope with the loss of their home. Dot My neighbors are just heartbroken, too, Johnson told Al.com. They're pulling together and helping us out. And apparently there are others beside Johnson's neighbors who are willing to lend a hand. Katie Stanton, of Burlingame, California, doesn't know Johnson but nonetheless launched a fundraiser for her Friday evening. In less than four hours, Stanton had collected over $26,000 for Johnson. I don't know Tina Johnson. But I believe her, Stanton wrote in a post. Money won't erase what happened, but I truly hope it will help.